So in this problem, we're given this uh, ugly looking expression and my general advice is whenever you see these expressions on the GMAT, you don't want to be resorting to grunt work. So obviously they've used the parentheses here to kind of force you to compute these fractions individually, but that's not what you want to do. The key thing is to look for a pattern. And the key thing is if you drop the parentheses, we'll see that minus one third and one third would drop out, minus one fourth, one fourth would drop out, and the, most of these terms would drop out, you'd be left with half minus a sixth, uh, which is going to be three sixth minus one sixth or two sixth or one third, and that's answer choice C.